Okay, we've got some worked exam questions at the foundation level on volume. Um, quite a mixed bag here. We've got some really easy questions which are counting squares. Um, going up to grade C questions which is anything to do with the volume of the prism, which we'll come across later. Start off with here, we've got a three dimensional shape made of squares, four layers. Um, shows you what it is, uh, what is the volume of the shape. So that's volume is all about how many cubes there are. So in the first layer we've got one cube. In the second layer, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we've got one, we've got nine, then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, and then it's going up in five, so that's 25. And these are square numbers. And this one's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven by seven, which is 49. So there's one on the top, nine in the second layer, 25, then 49. We just need to add those up. Um, 1 and 9 makes 10. Uh, 10 and 25 is 35. 35 plus 49. This is calculator based, but I like to do things in my head. So that's 70, 84. And they're centimeters cubed because they are cubes. Okay, here we go. Shape. Um, how many cubes you to make this shape? The only thing you've got to do here is make sure you don't miscount. So we can write the numbers on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 cubes. And how many cubes used to make the hollow cube? Well, we've got that 16 on the front, and we've got the same thing on the back, 16. So that's 16 and 16 plus 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that's going to add up to 8 and 6 is 14. It's going to add up to 44 cubes. So more solid cubes are added to make the hollow cube a solid cube. How many is it going to need? Well, the, hol the solid cube, you could try and add up to think about which ones are missing, but the solid cube is going to be a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 by 5 by 5 which is 125 cubes and you've got 44 so how many do you need to add so minus 44 is what we need to add it's going to be 81 cubes okay work out the volume of this cuboid one adds to one to place so calculate it ready let's clear that so we got um, three numbers in the volume question we need to multiply the length by the breadth by the height so we just add multiply these four three numbers and that gives us 127.224 that would give you two marks if you want to answer to one decimal place so we have to chop it off in the right place which is 127.2 because that's a two that's not going to round up to three less than halfway to the next number so we keep it at 127.2 next one um, cube made of centimeters cubed what's the volume of this cuboid so one two three four five six on each layer two layers two times six is twelve you state the units of your answer they are centimeter cubes so that's centimeters cubed now we've got six of these put together, so this one's 12, and then it's turned on its side to make 12. Um, that's actually not enough to do the question, so I'll just rub that out. That's the volume, and it's actually wants to know about the length. So on this side, the short side is 2, and the long side is 3. And the short side is 2, long side is 3, 2, 3. So we've got 5, 10, 15 centimetres. Okay, triangular prism, standard grade C question. Um, with a prism, you've got to work out the area of the end, in this case the triangle. So the area of a triangle is base times the height divided by 2. The base is 6, the height is 4. We know that's the base and the height because they're usually separated by a square to show they're at right angles. So we've got 6 times 4 which is 24, divided by 2, which is 12. 
so that's the area of the end. To find the volume, we then times that by the length of the cube, uh, the, the prism. So we've got 12 times by 20. So that's the area of the what's called the cross section times by the length or height. And 12 20s, two 12s, 24, and a zero on the end. So 240. Okay, another prism question, this time with a parallelogram. Um, prism's length 20, the cross section is shown, this bit here, what's the volume? So we've got to work out the area of the cross section. With a parallelogram, if we chop off this triangle and put it on this side, we actually make a rectangle which is 6 along and 5 up. So the area of that is going to be 6 times 5, which is 30. And then to work out the volume, we do the area times the length, which is 30 times 20, and 3 2 is 6 with 2 zeros. Okay, um, this is an interesting question. Um, you're told the volume is that, melted down blocks shown below. How many blocks can be made? So we're going to make use this much scrap metal to make these blocks. So we need to work out how, how much this block is. So this block is going to be 60 times 20 times 25. When you're looking at a cuboid, if you pick, although there's only three numbers here, if they made it a little bit trickier by putting other numbers in, if you pick any corner, and just look at the three lengths that are coming off that corner 20, 25 and 60, they're the numbers you multiply together out comes the calculator 60 times 20 is going to be 1200 times by 25 oh, what's that going to be? 4, 3, 30,000 so that's 30,000 and we've got 630,000 divided by 30,000 and we can do that on the calculator, I could just knock off the zeros knock off another zero, we do 63 divided by 3 which is 21 or we could do it on the calculator just to make sure 630, 1, 2, 3 divided by 30, 1, 2, 3, 21 ok, blocks are stacked in layers 3 is shown how high will the stack 27 blocks be? Uh, answers in meters. Okay, so 27 blocks. Now I know lots of people did this question originally. Um, they think it's 27 blocks high. It's only going to be 9 blocks high because each, each row has got 3 blocks in it. So 27 plus 3 lots of 9. So that's how high it is. And we know each block is 25. So we've got 9 times 25, that's 225 centimetres, and we want it in metres, so we've got to divide that by the 100 centimetres that are in a metre, and that will give you 2.25 metres. There was a special case for this, if you did it the other way and did it as 27 high, and you could, if you, if you converted that correctly to metres, got 2 out of 3 marks.